so we're here today at Wing Studio. It's me, Sorn, and then I have Sverker here with me as well. And hello, hello. hello. And uh, this is actually the whole project that's, uh, that's the new Sornheim album, the Sornheim Sleep Experiment. And um, you're gonna tell us a, a little bit about it, Sverker. It's everything. It's uh, all nine songs in one project we mix from this project. Uh, so it takes a lot of computer capacity with all the Sornheim channels. We have the drums. Uh, looks like this, all the drums. Uh, we have uh, obviously the rhythm guitars and the bass are here uh, that are recorded. Well, there are four rhythm guitars and there are bass with two sources of sound. We have uh, the strings uh, that we recorded here in the studio with a, uh, basically a quartet uh, of people recording all the string sections a couple of times. So you see there's shitloads of takes. Um, there are also, uh, obviously, the lead guitars and the solos as a separate folder. I like to folder everything to make it somewhat uh, uh, yeah, possible to control. Uh, so I make these uh, folders for each uh, kind of uh, sound. Here we have the, all the clean guitars in one folder and the acoustic guitars and the 12 string and everything. And then I have like a big folder here with everything that is, uh, it says synth, but it's not really synth. It's uh, all the sound effects, the orchestras and uh, stuff like that. Um, and then obviously the vocals is a separate folder. So. Bender is doing both growl and a lot of clean vocals and yeah, also the backing vocals. And the only thing that is not in this uh, uh, mix project is uh, the... I have a separate project for all the choirs that I've... Uh, uh, yeah, mixed separately and then uh, uh, inserted into the mix. And uh, so they are only a stereo channel in the end that I have in this project. So yeah, this is the whole album, nine songs and uh, a lot of channels. <laughs> yeah, and today we're gonna uh, look a little bit closer on um, the latest single that we've released, Keep the Devil Away. And like I mentioned earlier, uh, the song actually came about um, when I was pretty frustrated because I, I actually was stuck uh, with the arranging uh, the, the opening track, uh, the like the, the grand finale there. Uh, I was stuck there and it made me very frustrated because I wanted to keep uh, the flow going with, with the, the composing um, uh, flow that I had going and um, so I decided to close that project and basically open up a fresh project uh, and I, I just added this very simple drum beat to it and then I started hammering on the rhythm guitar and I think you can actually hear that quite well on the first riff. Uh, it's a very primal riff and uh, you know it's open strings and we're actually gonna listen to just the rhythm guitar the bass and the drums and you can hear the, the primal aggression that's put into this guitar riff. Play it, Sparker. So when I had like the opening riff um, there, I felt like um, I, I should add some sort of horror theme uh, over that. And in the beginning, I actually just had um, the synths that you hear in, in the intro. So at that point, the, the theme had this really strong horror vibe. But I felt that um, actually it would suit 
quite well with uh, some of my trademark Sorn leads on it as well. So I ended up dubbing the theme with um, uh, usually the way uh, uh, I, I dubbed it the way that I usually record lead guitars. So there's like one high um, melody and then there's uh, an octave below. And in the end there, uh, I've added like a harmony to boost up uh, the climax for it. And, and this is actually the only theme on the album that's recorded with uh, a wall pedal. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe you can play it. Yeah, that, that's if I would say something that that's very um, a very sworn theme, uh, and especially the way that it's executed. Uh, after the theme uh, of the song, we go into the first verse, where Bender is doing some really cool vocal stuff, uh, and after that we move on to the pre-chorus. Uh, and in the pre-chorus I wanted to have some sort of contrast because the, the verse and the intro, uh, that's basically the same riff, uh, is quite uh, um, mo uh, monotonous and I, I wanted the pre-chorus to be a little bit uh, more aggressive uh, as a contrast and I also wanted to uh, switch uh, uh, the, the basic chord uh, in, in the structure. Um, and after that, um, we're moving into a first variation of, of the chorus that's presented uh, quite naked. Uh, and it's um, Bendler's vocals that's in focus. Uh, and I wanted it that way and also add this horror vibe to it. Uh, Bender added a lot of whispering and uh, then Sverker used a lot of cool effects uh, and stuff like that on, on the whispers in, in, in the background. Uh, I actually think that that turned out pretty cool and maybe we can listen to it. We can. There's a lot of cool scenes there that, um, you know, give you that kind of typical horror movie feeling. And after that, uh, there's um, another version of the, of the chorus with more open chords. Um, so the, the rhythm guitar is kind of laid back and there's more focus on uh, the, the string melody and Bender's vocals. And um, after that, we're moving uh, back to another verse and a pre-chorus and then uh, another chorus again. And uh, <clears throat> then I, we're doing this um, typical lead thingy that you find in, in <laughs> uh, classic rock songs, like We're Not Gonna Take It, where the guitar is basically playing the, uh, the vocal harmony and I do some variation of it. And after that, uh, we, we take it down a few notches again, and we go into the bridge. And something that you don't really hear that much on the album, maybe, because there's so much going on, uh, is uh, the acoustic gu gu guitars on, on the bridge. And I think that they turn out really, really cool um, in this particular part. So maybe we can listen to them, Sverker. Yeah, it's all this six string, 12 string. And dubbed with some uh, clean electric guitars as well, I think. Yeah, I think so. Let's see, we have some volume. And 
after that uh, bridge, we move uh, right into the epic uh, twin guitar solo. And the idea with, with that was that I wanted the song to end with this grand guitar theme. And um, it, it starts off with um, just one guitar uh, playing one theme. And then uh, we go into a part where uh, both me and Skuka are playing um, uh, some sort of fugue, I guess you would say, because there's like a, a string melody that's um, working behind the lead guitars there. And um, I'm actually very happy with how that turned out. Um, I guess that, that was my first uh, try of composing that way. Um, and uh, maybe we could listen to that uh, isolated as well. Yeah. That's it for today. Bye. Bye-bye.